I just looked at a movie. Dark Water is another one of those Hollywood remakes of a successful Japanese horror film, but even with a stellar cast, it falls far short of succeeding to engage the audience. Ambiguity is the reason, because after it's over, you don't have enough explanation for what you just saw, and that makes it a very unsatisfying experience, even with its outstanding cast. Sure, it stars Jennifer Connelly, and sure, its supporting cast includes John C. Riley, Pete Postlethwaite, and Tim Roth in a role so convincing that I didn't even recognize him. However, the story is confusing enough that it could be left up to the audience as to what the driving force of the plot is, a supernatural force that's to be taken seriously, or simply psychological problems of the main characters. Sometimes this gimmick works in a film, and sometimes it doesn't. Here, it doesn't. And even if the supernatural force is real, it's watered down. No pun intended. I mean, a haunted house is threatening. A haunted apartment? Not so much. The apartment in question is on Roosevelt Island in New York City, once known as Welfare Island. Dahlia has to find a job and a new place to live with her five-year-old daughter, Cecilia, when Dahlia becomes separated from her husband while a nasty child custody case develops. The only thing going for apartment 9F is the cheap rent, and Ceci doesn't even want to live there at first. She says, it's all the same, and it's too small. But when Ceci finds a child's knapsack with a doll inside it on the roof, she suddenly changes her mind and does want to live there, even though there's a dark water stain on the ceiling of her bedroom. Her imaginary friend could be the reason. My main complaint with this film is not that I have to decide what causes Dahlia to do what she does, but that it takes too long to get to whatever the film is trying to get to, and after it gets there, it stays too long. Darkwater is one dumb movie that asks, is it a ghost story, is it a paranoia story masquerading as a ghost story, or is it just too dumb to even care about, and you know what I think. I'm Dan Culberson, and this is Hot Shots.